When it comes to the AK-47, Krebs Custom is unparalleled in their upgrades to the original AK-47 design. Starting in 1984, Mark Krebs was first making a custom 1911s, but not long after that switched to the AK-47 rifle, and so has taken the AK and updated it to the 21st century. These rifles are phenomenal. If you know anything about AKs, if you're interested in AKs, you've definitely heard of Krebs Custom. Now originally Krebs was taking Russian AK-47s uh, for their base rifle, uh, but once the import restrictions started this past year, they have switched to the Bulgarian SLR 107 FR, which is also an exceptional rifle. And so with all these different upgrades that Krebs has done, it's just phenomenal how this rifle reacts, how it functions, the smoothness of the action. Now the Krebs rifles that they produce are not inexpensive. They are top of the line and there are a lot of good reasons for it. You know if you're just wanting a basic AK-47 great because they're pretty inexpensive but if you really want to step it up and make a very user-friendly AK I can't recommend any more highly the Krebs Custom and this is the AK-103K-S now the K stands for carbine, which these rifles have been shortened to a 14 inch barrel with a welded pin muzzle brake. And the S stands for a side folding stock, which we're going to look at. Of course, polymer all the way through, a lot of different upgrades, US made muzzle brake that's very close to the AK-103 muzzle brake. And there are just so many features about this gun, we're going to take a closer look at why this is such a high quality and well sought after rifle. Now when the rifles arrive at Krebs, they're totally stripped down. All the parts are removed and these are made 922R compliant, which means they have to have at least 10 parts that are US made to be able to go into this configuration. Next the barrel is cut down, it's recrowned to a 60 degree crown, very precision crowned. Uh, and then there is added a US made uh, AK-103 type muzzle brake. This is actually made by Krebs. It mimics the same design as the original AK uh, with one port on this side and then two additional ports on the other side and that allows the gas pressures to shoot down to the right and it keeps the rifle from climbing toward the right. Now not only is the sight moved back, but it's aligned. A lot of times with a lot of the lesser expensive or inferior AK-47s, the sight, front sight uh, tower, the gas tube, even the rear sight can be canted. And that can really have a huge effect on accuracy, obviously. Uh, that's one of the things they do is make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. Then the barrel uh, is laser bore sighted. And so once you get to the range, you're gonna find paper pretty quickly. Uh, I was about two inches off dead center at 50 yards uh, just from the factory. So it's, it's really great to go ahead and know these rifles are sighted in. Uh, they are a cold hammer forged barrel which comes from Bulgaria already. And that's going to give you a lot of life with these barrels. Cold hammer forged is an excellent way to extend the life of the barrel. A polymer handguard has been added with a dust tube cover and has nice palm swells with these grooves. Gives you a lot of texturing to be able to grab the rifle. Also included is a rail mount that's attached to the side of the receiver, which is standard for a lot of the AK variants. The polymer stock has a nice cutout that fits and mates right with the rail mount. Right here you have a small push button and you can pull your stock on over. Then right here you have a small little latch and the stock just fits right down in it. On the back here is a little push button. It releases the stock, goes back into place. has a metal butt plate with the trap door for your little cleaning kit. And we have a black polymer pistol grip. It does have the Krebs Mark IV uh, selector. And this is one of the easiest to manipulate, even with your hand, right in the same position. You can just bring it down and bring it off safe. It also has the cut to bring the bolt back and to hold it into place. Once you load a fresh magazine, you're ready to rock. Of course the safety lever, it is very smooth. A lot of times with the AK you have to go way forward to trip the safety of the selector. Here, it's just intuitive. It's in a natural position.
It has a sling swivel right here on the collapsible stock and right here next to the handguard. Because of the variance in magazine sizes, uh, the cutout for the magazine well is made to accept as many magazines as possible. It does come with a Magpul 30 round magazine with the rifle. Now we're going to pull off the dust cover to take a look at the Krebs custom trigger job. Go ahead and remove our recoil spring. And we're going to remove our bolt and bolt carrier. Now one of the huge upgrades is the Krebs trigger job. Uh, this is a Tabco US made trigger which is part of the 922R compliance. They do radial cuts on the sear, on the hammer. They face and top off the hammer. They polish all bearing surfaces. So this is a really smooth trigger. In fact, it is phenomenally smooth. Now the trigger, again, there's a little bit of take up, but a very smooth click. I mean, it is sweet. Reset is definite and very audible. And they also polish the bolt face to make it really smooth into the chamber. And the bolt handle has been machined to make it really smooth. A lot of times you can grab a bolt handle on an AK and it can be sharp, especially when you're doing really rapid drills. Uh, this really makes it nice. Because of the crowned and hand fitted barrel, because the sights are aligned uh, concentrically to the bore and all the different things that have gone into making this barrel, it's still an AK-47. And one of the things about the AK-47 is it is a combat proven rifle made for combat conditions. Uh, that's no different than what this rifle is. It's still a fine-tuned machine, but yet it can handle all the elements. Now, one of the things about that is, is the accuracy typically on the AK-47 is between 2 and 3 inch MOA at 100 yards. And that's pretty much what you're looking at here. Because I was not going to attach a scope to this gun and I was just going to shoot irons, I thought I'd give you a good look at what this gun will do at 50 yards just sitting on a bench. Here, this was actually one of my first groups. It's just an inch and a half little group. Uh, not too bad. As you can see, it was shooting a couple of inches to the left. And of course, I could have adjusted the sights with no problem, but I wanted just to shoot it as, as is. Here's my second group. Pretty much very similar results, maybe a little bit more of a spread. I did have one flyer, but still, all right here, about two inches uh, to the left. Here I had a four shot group, pretty tight four shot group, and of course I did have a flyer. So this just gives you a little bit of the example of some of the accuracy, which was typical with this rifle. Now I, at 25 yards, I did shoot a few groups uh, to initially find out if I was hitting paper or not, and those groups were just super tight. So I wanted to go ahead and move it out to 50 to give you guys more of an, a, an idea. Now all the rough edges are machined down uh, to make it a really smooth all across the receiver when you're grabbing, nothing to catch on, nothing to cut. And it's one of the things that's notorious with the AK is the sharp edges. This is really a smooth down version. And then the rifle is completely bead blasted with an aluminum oxide media. And it gets down to the bare metal. Then the barreled receiver is tumbled to smooth out the interior. Uh, that's all the burrs will be removed with this tumbling process. And this smooths out all the edges as well. Then it's finished with the Krebs coat, which is a baked on synthetic alkyd. And this is cured, it's baked, it's baked a number of times, and it really is impervious to solvents and to wear. Uh, it's a really tough, durable coat. Uh, one guy said that it was very similar to car paint. It's just so strong. In fact, you can see where the safety has come back and forth. Uh, it doesn't scratch like it typically does uh, with your standard AKs. Usually we'll have a just a silver mark right here from opening it. Of course, that has also a lot to do with the Mark IV safety. But the Krebs coat actually bonds to the metal, so you're gonna have a very durable finish. I'll tell you, it's almost like a satin finish. The action on this rifle, is super smooth. I mean, it just rolls, that bolt rolls right into the receiver. The AK-103K weighs seven pounds. The overall length is 34 and a half inches with the stock collapsed 25 and a quarter inches. Of course, with the 14 inch pin barrel, it really is a compact package. It just feels perfect, the perfect size. Not too short, not too long, very easy. And of course, once you collapse that stock, it really brings it to a small package. Now, with a premium AK rifle, you definitely can expect to pay a premium price for all the work that's done. Uh, the Krebs Custom AK-103K-S retails 
for $1,649. Now on Circle 10 AK, which are the guys that actually sent me this rifle to do the review, you can get it on their website for $1,529. So it's a significant savings. You know, and some of you guys are saying, man, I can buy an AK for $600. And you know what? You're going to have a $600 AK. You know, it's kind of like the philosophy of, you know, going and buying a Chevrolet. You can buy a Camaro, which is a super nice car. It's very well, performs great. Or you can step it up and buy a brand new Corvette. The Krebs Custom AK is a brand new Corvette, baby. It is fantastic. So check out Circle10AK.com. A lot of great products on there magazines, rifles, different things, all AK. And of course, you can go to KrebsCustom.com and look at all the different things that they're doing. You know, yes, the price is expensive, but honestly, it's well worth it. The Krebs Custom 103KS, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. being blasted on here and then the tumbling it's tumbled okay I forgot about that uh, the, they radial cut they radially they radially has a swing swip it has a swing swivel <laughs> it has a swing swivel okay then the barreled receiver is tumbled then the then the barreled receiver is put into an industrial tumbler and all this okay. I am AK man <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know what kind of sound do Russians make? I don't know, they just kind of grunt. <laughs> <laughs>